Here we go. What? What? <laughs> what is happening? How's everybody doing? Am I loud? Am I loud? Can you hear me loud and clear? I just... Now you're looking, you're saying, what's different about you, Scott? What is different? Well, I'll tell you one thing that's different is, uh, well, I got, uh, well, there is one thing different, actually. I am now, by the possibility of the patrons, which are awesome, I am now broadcasting through XSplit. So I have a new broadcasting system. Friday, behind the scenes, you didn't see the debacle that OBS gave me. It would not start. I couldn't get it to run. I finally had to put it back onto like an old way I, I used to do it. Like back when I first started broadcasting on YouTube, way, way back. So I had to, and it was like, that was the final straw. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go over to XSplit, which if you know anything about broadcasting, it's a relatively moderate. It's what everybody pretty much uses. I talked to Heavy and Fagan and all those guys, they all use XSplit. And I was like, okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go over to it. And I was like 69 bucks for the year to pay for the membership to join in. With that, you get upgrades and things like that. Plus, since I'm paying for it now, I have a certain level of uh, customer, what can I say, satisfaction that I can have with a pay. Because with OBS, if you're not paying for something, you can't complain about it. It's like YouTube. I can't complain about YouTube. I don't pay for YouTube. You know what I mean? So I can't really complain if something doesn't go right with my stream because I'm not paying for it. It's the same thing with, with uh, OBS. You can't really complain because I'm not paying for it. So a few things before we get started here. How's the volume? Does everything sound good? Um, that was my biggest concern because obviously I can't hear it. So And this is the first time broadcasting, so I won't know until I play it back. So let me know. Um, has not powered you. Is Veronica in the chat? Oh. Okay, oh, great. Sonic is here. Welcome to your Vape at Five. I am your host. I am Black Cat. I'm going to edit all that out. I'm probably not. I'll probably get lazy. I won't edit it out. Today's Monday, and you guys know what happens on Mondays. Monday, fun day. Monday, pun day. Monday. Cun day? I don't know. Anyway, today <laughs> is uh, Featured Builder Day. I have a Featured Builder. <clears throat> I'm not going to get too much into it, but I'm going to announce it. I have a feature builder that is going to blow you away. His name is Mind Dream. Um, won't go too much into it right now. I'm going to do a few other things. I've got some some vape mail I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through. I'm going to say hi to everybody, and then we will go into the feature. So first off, I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I got a lot of um, a lot of, of comments, both negative and positive, regarding the thing on Friday. A lot, most of them were positive, and uh, it, we had a blast. First off, Veronica's a star. Veronica and Angela are stars. They are the absolute best. Thank you so much to Angela and Mark, and Mark for being just a good sport and just being a great guy, coming on and doing that. Like that's that's really cool of him because it, it, it it's something fun, and and I think that uh, you know, oh, congratulations, Cal, six years off of cigarettes, man, congratulations. Yeah, the. Uh, Eyelashes on my face, Veronica, were very funny. And the funny thing is, like, I got a couple people that kind of ribbed me about it afterwards. And 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 it was cool. You know, ribbing is funny and all that kind of stuff. But then I got a couple people that were kind of like, that was dumb. Why are you doing that? And I got a couple messages. I was like, really? And I responded back. And I want to say this publicly is, you know, what we were doing was fun. We weren't making, we weren't poking fun at anybody. We weren't trying to be like, we were making fun of ourselves. Mark and I were. And, um, you know, we, you know, I, I don't think either one of us, either both of us are pretty good at that. And we're both pretty, you know, confident enough that we can make fun of ourselves and have fun with it and we can take a joke. And I think it's kind of funny that, you know, people would give us, well, that's not your traditional, your traditional channel. Uh, that's like, well, dude, you know, other channels like do drama and talk shit about people and make fun of people and are mean to people and like, like, this is the 100% other end of that spectrum. And, like, you're not giving them shit about it? Like, so I was just kind of like, you know what? I don't really care for your opinion. That, that, that's ultimately what I ended up saying. There was two people. I was ultimately like, I really just don't care for your opinion. That's just, that's just where I'm going to leave that at. And, you know, have a good day. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed it. That was really... That show was really for the regulars who come in here, Jeff, Dan, 
uh, Rachel, you know, Tommy, Gone Vape. Like, I see all you guys in here, Dustin, Big G, Cows. Like, you guys who come in here, I'm not obviously not saying everybody, but you know who you are. The guys who come in here at least once or twice a week and watch me have been doing it for months, you know, for a year now. You guys have been doing it. That was for you guys. I mean, you know, I didn't like doing it. Veronica had a blast, and she loved it. And I think good news to that is that we're going to get Veronica on the show a lot more coming up. I think she's going to – she might do it once a month. Once or maybe once a month, maybe once or twice a month. She, she liked doing it. She – um. Didn't really know if she would or not, but she ended up thinking it was a lot of fun. And uh, we're a good team together. We are. We're funny together. You guys can tell that our relationship is really fun, and that's pretty much how our relationship is. Hey, Tracy. Hey, see, there's Woodtick Mike. How you doing, man? You know, Tracy, it's like they look for reasons. They look for reasons, and, and um, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I, you put yourself out here on YouTube. You, you know, if you can't deal with the YouTube, then don't get on the YouTube. And it's the whole thing about it, uh, you know, like, I can obviously deal with it because, like, I don't care. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, great to see everyone. Hey, what's up, Scotty Zegans? How you doing, Miss Jane? How you doing? Yes, more Veronica, please. We will get more Veronica on the show. I think Veronica, I certainly think that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through, I'm going to say hi to everybody, and then I've got three pieces of vape mail that I've got to go through for some featured builders, and then we're going to get into the feature of Mind Dream. You guys are going to be blown away. He's, he's absolutely amazing. Um, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. And I've been watching him for a long time now. So really, really pleased to bring that to you. So let's go through and say hi to everybody. Participants. Big G coils. What's up, Big G? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, man. Glad you're here. Black cat, white face. That's me. I'm not really white face. I'm my, I've actually got the color tuned in with this new x -Split. I'm using the x -Split, like I'm advertising for them. I uh, I feel like I've got everything dialed in with everything. It was super easy to use. Like so much easier than OBS. Like it's unfucking believable. It's so nice. Great to see you. Great, great to see me. Yeah, it is great to see you, Scott. You you look ever so handsome without fake eyelashes on. Bones of Skater, what's up, Bones? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Mr. Cal's Irons, man, the million dollar swivel. How are you, Cal's? Great to see you, man. Glad you are here. Chuck Carl's McLaren, running things. He paid for my exploit. The like, he's like, don't worry about it. He paid for the Eternity membership, which was like a million dollars. He just like oh, write a check. And they're like, oh, you talking about Charles McLaren? I was like, yeah. Like, don't worry about it. We'll talk to him directly. We talked to his people. I was like, that's good. Good to see you, Charles. Glad you are here. Chris Wakes World, what's up, Chris? How are you, brother? Great to see you, man. Glad you're here. Dan, the man. Dan. Now, Dan and I were talking in uh, Discord today. Jane just got the Stormbreaker. Now, if you don't know the Stormbreaker, it is a triple... Is it triple or four? I think it's triple. Triple 21700 parallel mod. So uh, basically it's a battery. Like the thing will never run out of battery power ever. It also gives you full uh, 4.2 volts. So, I mean, it's like, it, it's a it's a really, really nice mod. And I've actually held it. It's a lot smaller than you actually think it would be. It's not really that big, but it's beautiful. She got a purple one. So they have a purple one, a lime green one, which I can't find anywhere, but they do have th two more colors because they had the black. Uh, Stormbreaker, but now they have two more colors. They have a uh, green with black splatter. It's like an army green with black splatter, and they have the uh, what's the other one? The other one's like a cr it's not chrome. Um, it's like a dark metal color. Like it it's really fucking sexy. And uh, so we we're talking about that today. Thinking about picking one up. I, I wanted. I've been wanting to get one since they went on pre-sale. I just haven't done it yet. I I, I don't know. I'm holding off because I'm pretty much like trying to get all my video stuff like that I need before I buy any more mods. And I just actually. Today, and I forgot to bring it down, I just got the uh, new Twisted Messes RDA, the Akula. Is that what you call it? That's a, I'm, I'm going to be testing that this week. This week, I have the uh, Dark Mesh Tank. Uh, that was sent to me for the purpose of review. I said I would review it, and uh, so I'm going to. It's it, it's a pre-made coil tank, but I've actually been enjoying it. And since I told him I would do it, it's like I can't just not do it. You know what I mean? So that's what I'll be reviewing today. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you, Dan. Dustin Kendall. What's up, Dustin? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. Glad you're here. Gone Vape Ray. What's up, Ray? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. James Kaposi. What's up, Kaposi? How you doing? Jane Dodd. What's up, Jane? Jane was at Expo. Jane was at Expo. Jane got outed at Expo. I don't know if you saw pictures of Jane. I'd never seen Jane. I, I talked to Jane a bunch of times. I've been talking to Jane for like two years. I'd never seen her. But I kind of knew what she looked like, but not really. And like I saw a picture of Jane finally. Lovely Miss Jane. Great to see you, Jane. Super glad you're here. So she said she might do shy tot. She might actually come on the stream with me and actually come on and be on the show. Which that would be like, that would be groundbreaking YouTube right there. Because it'd be the first live i think jane's ever done i think you did do a live with me once before jane but we couldn't see you and you kept breaking up like your internet connection was really bad so i don't know anyway jane good to see you. i heard you had a great time got my shy tots on 
representing. Good to see you, Jane. Glad you're here. Jeff Lawson, what's up, Jeff? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. Glad you are here. Jesse Smith, what's up, Jesse? How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Liam, Vapor TV, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome to this channel. You and Jesse, I don't know if I've seen you here before. Well, welcome. This is Vape at Five. I'm your host. This guy, this handsome son of a bitch right here. Black cat. That's me. I'm I'm the host. Um, it doesn't get any better than this. Like, basically, if you're waiting for, like, a climax, you know, we're past it. That was the intro. Doesn't get any better. So, sorry. Not kidding. I'm glad you're here, man. Thanks for joining, guys. Glad you are here. Louis Miller. What's up, Louis? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you are here. Lino Vapes. How you doing, Lino? Good. Lino Valez. Sorry, Lino. What's up, man? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you're here, Mr. Pebble. What's up, Mr. Pebble? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Super. Mr. Pebble, my bevel. Glad you're here. The guy right below him, Nick Devine, and Divine 83 this guy, this guy, I'll tell you, Nick, what are you doing, Nick? Nick, Nick is trying to become the Lady Gaga of YouTube. We've got to stop him. Put a stop to that immediately. I am the next Lady Gaga. I put fucking makeup on, Nick. You can't take the title of Lady Gaga of YouTube from me, Nick. I've worked too hard, tirelessly, to become the Lady Gaga of YouTube. You cannot take that from me. I'm just kidding. What's up, Nick? Nick will be on here with me tomorrow. We're doing a... So we have two coil building shows that I do. The one is um, the Coil Builders show. <laughs> Great name, Scott. Pretty creative. Yeah, well, that. that's me and Nick. And, and then the other show I do is Motley Coil Crew. That's the one we're going to try to do tomorrow, which is me and um, Johnny Drips, Nick, and then um, Talon, if I can get him. If I can't get Talon, I'll try to get somebody else. But Nick's already committed, so we'll have Nick on here tomorrow. And Friday, I'm get, we got Pal702 in the hot tub. So... That was I haven't talked to him yet. I've sent him like 10 messages. He hasn't responded. I don't know if his people need to talk to my people. I don't have people. I think he has people. I've got to talk to them directly to get him on the show. But he's supposed to be in the hot tub. And I'm working on somebody next. Somebody really awesome I'm trying to get for next week. But we're having timing conflicts. So I'm trying to get that all straightened out. But I got somebody I'm like really fucking excited about to have. Not this week. Not Well, I'm ha excited to have Pal, obviously. But like one of my favorite uh, people on YouTube. <laughs> I'm trying to get them for the next week. Anyway, good to see you, Nick. Glad you're here. Nick Fenton, what's up, Nick? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Glad you are here. Noah. What's up, Noah? How you doing? Huh? Great to see you. Hun. You're not a hun. You're a guy. What's up, Noah? How you doing? You, I'm too much caffeine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't see me. Rachel Vancey. What's up, Rachel? How you doing? Uh, great to see you. Super glad you're here. Scott Zegans. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Scotty? How you doing, brother? Great to see you, man. I am super duper glad. Now, Scott, you said you're going to send me some of that lemon, the new lemon? Apparently, not. I didn't get it. I'd like to get some. I'd like to try that. Send that to me. I'll review it. I'll put up, do a review for it, and everything official. Officially review it, man. Send it to me. Let me <laughs> Good to see you, Scott. Scott's always like, why are people always hitting me up for shit? Scott, why every time I come on here, you hit me up for something? Don't be a dick. I'm just kidding, Scott. Love you, man. Good to see you. Steven Aiken, what's up, Steven? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Stu Rep, what's up, Stu? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Tommy to the motherfucking V is in the house. Oh, low video output. Am I, hold on. Let me see. Am I uh, lagging? Let's see here. Is it lagging? It says low video output. Let me look up here. See, right up here, I can see what I am. Eh, I got some drop frames, but it's still going pretty good. Eh, it looks like it's going all right. Eh, I don't know. All right, go back to, where was I at? Tommy to motherfucking V. Tony Jenkins, what's up, Tony? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Tracy, hey, Tracy. How are you? Great to see you, baby. Smurf, what's up, Smurf? Veronica Gibson, what's up, honey? I love you. You're the best. Good to see you. Wires fast, what's up, fast? How you doing, man? Great to see you. And my brother from another mother. Mr. Wood Tick Mike. Great to see you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining today on the Vape at Five. All right, let's kick it into a little vape mail. Ear hairs, too. Shut up, Spaz. <laughs> Spaz. Spaz always makes fun of my. What does he say? Please. I don't have any nose hair. Look. There's no nose hair, Spaz. Huh. <laughs> hey, Lawless Vapors. Well, I'll tell you. Right in our chat right here. I don't sell coils, but um, in the chat, there are the best coil builders basically in the community. I, and I, I, I don't say that just like saying it. No. In that chat right there are the best coil builders in the community that sell. So any of those guys right there can help you. Also, if you want, if you want coils, um, my Cat's Eye page, I have a list of approved uh, builders who have all been vetted. So you can go through, and if uh, it's Cat's Eye, uh, cat's eye, what is it called? Vape and waffles. I think is what it's called on Facebook. The links below join that group and everybody in there. there's a list in there of people you can buy from depending on where you're at, different countries, stuff like that. You can get them directly from all over the world. Your last stream. Thank you, Mr. Uh, wind valve fan club. Yeah, it was pretty funny, dude. Pretty funny and pretty painful. Veronica liked it. 
I think we're going to get Veronica on here more, which is what that if that happens and that was a great way to do it. All right. So I got three more featured builders that are going to be brought on here to the vape at five. We got first one is going to be seven S vapes. So uh, thanks very much for the invitation right here. S seven vapes. Sorry. S seven vapes is going to be the next one. Your last stream was so funny. Thank you, Val. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you for joining, man. $1.99. Can't see it. It won't come in. Anyway, it says it's got his uh, signature on there. So, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Val, if, you, if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining, dude. Uh, I do this uh, four days a week. Four days a week. So today's Featured Builder Day. Uh, that's for everybody who's new. Today's Featured Builder Day. So we go, I feature a different builder every day. I give coils away on Wednesday and Friday from those builders. Uh, and I get the best, the best in the community. So it's really, really awesome. The, the, a lot of the people that we get on here. T tomorrow is going to be coil, it's basically for coil builders. So tomorrow's like our coil builder show, which is Tuesday, which I kind of alternate with a recovery show that I do every other Tuesday. Wednesday's review day. So I do a review, and then Friday's the hot tub. And Friday we have a guest, me and Charlie, we have a guest. So first is going to be S7 Vapes right here, will be added to our builders list. Let me get on here. And as I do it here, I'll read who all we have coming on. So this week is Mind Dream. I've got Merlin up next week. Um, Q Star, Q Stag, Strag. I don't know how exactly how to say it. He's after that. GTS Mustang and Cool Vapes. So S7 Vapes. We got a Shy Tots week that's going to be in the middle of there as well. So Shy Tots week will either be, might be next week, it might be the week after, but it's going to be coming up here pretty soon. All right, our next feature builder is, now, have you guys seen this guy, uh, Arca Coil? Arca Coil, have you guys seen him on Instagram? Fucking beast. So I got him, I talked to him, he's from uh, 33, he's from France. So these are, all these guys are international too. Like everybody, everybody who's been sending me stuff is all international. So this is another international builder. And we have, there's, a, it looks like a single coil, a couple of duels, alien, fralians. So here, I don't know if you can see, let's see if we can zoom that in. And there's what you're looking at, guys. It don't get no better than that. Couple Pharaoh style. These are all aliens. Series aliens. Right there. So he will be after S7 Vapes. Coming in from France. A R K A. K A Coil. I can't say their names. Like, that's terrible, but I don't <laughs> Put it back in here. And he sent me some cards. So I will start sending this out with you guys. Danny Thompson, how you doing? Gabrielle, how you doing? Brian H. There he is. Mind Dream. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to see you. There's the man of the hour with the Tower Power. Mike Zoberg. What's up, brother? How you doing? Spring. What's up, Spring? And our last package. Did I open this one? I did not open, the, open this one. This one is from... Addie Jones. Addie Jones is our our last one. I'm, our last feature person. I'm going to be getting in today. Addie Jones, straight from the UK. Now, if you've seen Addie, Addie's been getting fucking. He has been on fire with his builds lately. So, talk to Addie and got Addie added. I ripped his message. Son of a bitch. How do we do that? There's a letter in here. All right. Okay. Our, let's see. Well, he sent me a bunch. So we've got a couple letters here. I won't read that one. This one is, that is from S7, so keep that. All right, so there's my letters. I'll set those in there because I keep all that stuff separate. And let's see what all, there's some stuff. Holy shit. Oh, my God. He sent me. So I've got... All these coils. This is all the stuff he sent me. Thank you, Addy. You're you're amazing. So let's open one of these up and take a look if I can. Yeah, let's get this open here. Okay, so let's take a look at these. And then he sent me, is this an atomizer? 
No, there's something else in here. It looks like an atomizer he might have sent me as well. So this will be the Friday giveaway. This will be added to Friday for Addy. So it's Addy, yeah. He sent me an atomizer and a set, two sets of coils, or is it three sets? Yeah, there's an Addy, a unicorn Addy. I'm not sure what Addy that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. So unicorn Addy will be added to Addy Jones's giveaway. Why don't I just hold it down here? Why am I holding it up top? I have my camera like placed perfectly, isn't that nice? That will be in his giveaway. A couple sets of coils in here, some N80 aliens. So we've got a ton of giveaways. Bonus pack for me. Awesome, dude. So when we do Addy's giveaway, there's gonna be quite a few things given away that week. Absolutely, that's awesome. Hey Robert, how you doing, man? <laughs> You're like a kid on Christmas, I know, that's right. I am, absolutely. The Facebook group should be below. I don't. Let's see if uh, Frank or somebody will put it in there for you for the Facebook group. Should be below. I think I have it below. If I don't, I need to change that. I might have lost it. I might have lost it when I did. That's why nobody's joining the group. Somebody's joined the group the last couple of weeks. Maybe I didn't forgot to put it in there. All right. So do I want to bring? Let's see what are these? The bonus. Yeah. Let's do this. I'm gonna bring these down and show you what's in the bonus back here. So, holy cow. Open that up. So let's really bring down the, uh, let's see if that'll focus in. Give me one second down low. There you go. That's the bonus. So that is a, God, my eyes are bad. I can't really see it. Okay, you guys can probably see it better than I can. Beautifully done. So that's my, those are my coils that I have from it that I will be keeping when I, uh, go back to Maine, there we go. Pretty freaking cool, Addy. That is awesome, brother. All right. So, let me get these. This will be a party week. Let me tell you that right now. That's a lot of stuff. And there's my personal vape. These are for me to vape, so I will keep those. Actually, you know what? I'll keep those over there. Because <laughs> I will vape them. I haven't built any coils in probably like a month and a half. It's been pretty bad. So I've been vaping. So let's add Addy. That will finish out June for us. So Addy Jones. So we got our builders, Mind Dream this week, Merlin, um, Qstrag, GTS Mustang, Cool Vapes, S7 Vapes, ARKA Coil, and Addy Jones. That will finish us out through all the way through June and into July. Now with that, there's gonna be a Shy Tots week in there probably. And I don't know if I'll do a Turk week, may do a Turk week in there too, come to the sponsors. But that's what we're gonna have coming out pretty much into the middle of the summer. All right guys, so with that being said, <clears throat> our featured builder this week is Mind Dream. And I remember when, is it buffering? Oh shit, let me do this. So give me one second. Let's see if I can change it. It's cause I got my, uh, and There we go. That'll probably make a big difference for you guys. Oh, is he? Arca's here as well? Dude, good to see you, man. Thank you for joining. That's awesome. Arca, man, thank you for the package. I got everything right here, dude. I got you on the list. Looking like the middle of June, I will have your feature up, dude. Thank you for joining, brother. Really, really appreciate it. I just uh, basically changed my frame rate out. So I don't know if that'll make a difference. It says here I'm offline, but it says here I'm broadcasting. So I think it's okay. Reset my Wi-Fi. YouTube is freezing on me. I'll be back in a few. Well, that's a meme waiting to happen. Oh no, did it stop again? It says, it says I'm broadcasting. Let's see. Let me refresh it.
Uh, no, it says it's off, so let's do this. Uh... <laughs> be me it appears to be my internet so that's the bad news because i thought maybe it's something to do with exploit i just didn't have it set up correctly that's not me i think that's i think that's my internet which is really really not good anyway it looks like everybody's back sorry about that our stream is eh it's okay but we're gonna get through this trust me so 5 30 we got about a half hour feature here for you now what we're doing is we're going to take a look at mr mind dream i started checking out mind dream back uh, god it was probably about a year ago maybe a little bit longer than a year ago i saw him come on the stream and are on the scene on ig and one thing i always noticed about him is his in the beginning his pictures were like very abstract almost they were dark um but they were really really good builds that you could tell there was a lot there to them but it was kind of mysterious in how he was presenting them and it was really something that interests me a lot um since then he's progressed his photography's progressed his builds have continued to uh progress and he's really gotten to a point now where he's really one of the top guys on instagram as far as builds go and he's getting all kinds of recognition from a lot of other great builders and a lot of other people that uh that pay attention to building so uh, really, really, I asked him if he would be featured and I'd never spoken to him before and he was all for it. I think, I think he had watched the show or had heard about it. So he was very, very interested in being on the show and I was really, really happy when he said that he would. So without further ado, let me bring you over here to, I had to reboot everything. So I had to get everything started back up. Let me get his page up here. All right, we're ready to go. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to take you over to my other monitor here, and we are going to take a look at Mind Dream. There we go. All right, guys, so here he is, Mr. Mind Dream. He has, uh, let me grab the chat real quick. I'll pull this over here so I can read the questions coming in. Mr. Mind Dream, got about 4,000 followers. He's following about 30,000 30, or about 3,000 here. He's got a ton of sponsors. He's got 528 Customs. As you know, Goon is a huge one. Mass Mod, Trinity, Monster Wire, and Official Hell Vape. All right, let's take a look at what we're looking at here. Grab this one. Wow. Alien Stag. Beautifully done. Great color on that. Great clarity on the picture. Perfect stag. If you can see the consistency in the inner and outer alien wrap. Absolutely beautiful, man. Perfectly done. Here we go with a hybrid. And what it looks like to me here is... He did like a five core alien, and then on the inside he did a five. Uh, no, this is maybe let's see three. Yeah, five. So he did a five core alien. Then on the inside here he did a three core alien with the other two he let out to go parallel. I'm not sure how he did that, unless he did an alien then reframed it and did it again. That's probably what he did. He did an alien then he reframed it with two pieces of round wire and then and then aliened it again. Really, really unique. Beautifully done. Beautiful color on that. Great clarity on the picture. Another hybrid again. Four core alien open in the middle there. Kind of gives it that transistor type look. Beautifully done, man. Gorgeous build. All right. Let's keep going. 
Here's another picture of that alien stag. <laughs> Beautiful color on that. Absolutely gorgeous. Great clarity on the pictures too, isn't it? Here we go with a stitched mothership. That's over a lot of ribbon. Now, when I was talking about originally when I saw Mind Dream, his pictures were more like this. They were more brought into the to the coil, but they were also darker. And um, it made it more, and I thought that's kind of where he got his name Mind Dream from. They were more, it was more dark, so it was more like, it was kind of like uh, more abstract or like like a dream would be. And it really intrigued me when he, when he, when I saw it. It added something, definitely added more of an artistic aspect to it. And it looks like that Clapton there is a, uh, he force fused it. So it gives it a little bit more texture on that Clapton. Very cool. One of my favorite builds here, Groove, Groove Fused Staggerton. Beautiful picture. That's in the Goon LP. One thing you can tell about a picture that I always look for in a lot of this photography is how clear the deck looks. And if you can see the deck looks really, really clear, then you know that the picture hasn't really been uh, altered that much. And you can tell that he hasn't really altered the picture that much at all. I mean, this is basically a really, really good picture of exactly what he was looking at. But sometimes you'll see the deck and you'll see the decks kind of manipulated color wise and things like that. You can tell, but certainly not here. Another hybrid with an interlock on the inside three wraps. The outside two wraps are alien. Beautiful cr uh, curve on his alien there. Really nice looking interlock. That's in that copper goon. It's very well done. Here's a picture I used for uh, the repost yesterday that I really, really liked. This is that same build as the one that I showed you before. Um, and what he did here, he did an alien, then he reframed it and did it again, leaving out two legs on the inside here. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Mothership alien. Here's the picture from the tile today. Beautiful color on that. Really, really tight on his micro Clapton. Amazing color, good twist on that, uh, good curve on his alien. Beautifully done. The wick shot really adds to a beautiful shot. Look at this groove fuse again. I absolutely love groove fuse or groove fuses. I think they're gorgeous. Couple four wrap. I'm sure that was a badass vape. All right, here we go. There's something a little different here. Looks like he's got an interlock that is kind of laid open and spaced. Paralleled with a fairly large piece of wire. I'm assuming that's probably 24 gauge paralleled. And that's in the Goon, or that's in the uh, Rebirth RTA, I believe. Yeah, Rebirth RTA. That's really nice, man. Great color on that. Beautiful shot. Beautifully done. Here's another picture of that same build. Look at the color on that. That is gorgeous. What I failed to mention is what he had inside of there. So it looks like he's got a staple framed with two pieces of uh, ribbon and then framed again with a clapped end round wire on either side. Great color on there, consistency. Look at that. The, what, the coil next to it's got that really light purple with the dark purple next to it. Beautifully done, man. You can see the really good macro shot of the, what that metal looks like. Beautiful. A little different angle on the uh, that hybrid that he did, alien hybrid. Beautiful. And again, that mothership, a little different angle on that. Really good curve on that mothership. I, I tend to, when I do mine, I tend to 
my I don't get that good of a curve on my alien because I put a little bit too much tension on it I think to make sure it lays nice and it, it straightens out the the curve a little bit more than I like it really good curve on on yours though man and I really like how you spaced it out and look it looks that is just absolutely gorgeous That's the one we looked at. Here we go. Groove fused mothership with a piece of round wire laying ne next to it. Beautifully done, man. Here we go with a. Is that a dual corrugated? <clears throat> so you're looking at a really fat. This reminds me a lot of what GTS Mustang does. Um, let me see, make sure it's not him. Make sure this is my dream. I have to check sometimes because people repost other people's builds and sometimes I'll, I won't see it and I'll talk about it as theirs. Um, so you got dual parallel corrugated uh, in the middle there, four pieces of ribbon. Then you have your another piece of ribbon and framing that with your corrugated pieces. Ribbon, then round wire. It looks like he skip fused it. Or is that a pitchfork? That actually may be a pitchfork. Upon closer review, yeah, that's a pitchfork, with the first pitchfork being the corrugated piece and then reframed. Very nicely done. And that had to be an absolute bear to do. That had to be an absolute bear to do. Because that corrugated piece wants to collapse, wants to move everywhere. God, this guy had to be a nightmare. Beautifully done, man. Just excellent photography. Perfect clarity. Really, really nice. Look at that. So underneath here you have uh, Alien Suka. Over top of it here you have a stitched single Mothership Enigma. Wow, beautiful color on that, beautiful clarity. The micro aliens, perfect. Just love that suka down there, it looks gorgeous, man. Let's see if I can find a bigger picture of that one. Here we go. Stitched hedgehog, fat hedgehog, and I think he's got a piece of corrugated in the middle there separating the ribbon i think there's a piece of corrugated in the middle i'm pretty sure getting that measurement right had to be a bitch beautifully done man let me check my stream oh still it okay that don't work still fighting a little bit Here we go. So here is that build. Here's a close-up of it. And it, in fact, is a pitchfork. And he did do that first one. Of and it's a binary in the middle. I didn't even see that. Holy cow. That's a lot. I'll tell you what. You talk about uh, level of difficulty. That's about as difficult as it gets. Honestly. That is just an unbelievable uh, coil. So you got dual, dual corrugated, obviously. Your first stitch on your pitchfork is that coil or your first wrap. Then you're going to split it in half, put it together, and, and frame up a binary in the middle, which is just absolutely crazy. Wow, that's amazing. Make sure it's like that. Look at this. All kinds of different coils going on in here. You've got groove fuse, you've got a corrugated piece, you've got that mothership, Enigma, you, you got, I'm not entirely sure what the one in the, the, the middle is. Uh, maybe a twisted, there might be a braid. Just a lot of stuff going on right there. Beautifully done though. Beautiful picture, great color. Love it. So when we were looking at earlier with that uh, stitched Mothership Enigma over the Suka. That's just gorgeous. That Suka is absolutely gorgeous.
dual stitched Enigma. Again, in that star type mode. Reminds you a lot of like Modified Star does a lot of different things like this, but he's got an entire coil and then over top of it with that. Beautifully done, man. Absolutely gorgeous. That's just a gorgeous photo. God, every picture is so nice. Here we go. Beautiful helix. All kinds of different metal types and uh, metal textures in there. You got a micro clapped and you've got uh, a dual fuse here with a smaller and bigger wire. I can't tell if that's a parabolic that he squeezed in there. You got a staple in the middle. Just all kinds of different textures and everything to it. That is a work of art. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Yeah, let's say you had a round wire parabolic where he corrugated a piece of round wire and laid it in there. In between. Very cool. Here we go. Here's a little bit more detail of that one we were just looking at. Look at all the different textures and, and uh, different metals in there. That is really, really beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous, man. Let's look at that again. Yeah, that may be my favorite coil on your page. That is really amazingly done. Let's see, this is the side view of it. There is so much going on with this. So much thought and, and prep was put into that. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Beautifully done. One of my favorites, as always. A nice four, five, four wrap. Yeah, four wrap alien. It looks like a four core. Beautiful wick shot there. Dead drop party, eh? Here's another picture of that. That is just a work of art, man. That is absolutely gorgeous. That really is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that is. I want to make that my screensaver. Staggered in variation. Uh, skip fused. Got a staggered. Stack of ribbon in the middle, framed with two pieces of ribbon on either side. Again, open frame, round wire on the outside of that. And then he skip fused it. Beautifully done. Really well executed. Large, large uh, fuse there in the middle. I don't know how many pieces of ribbon he used. I'm going to guess eight, maybe ten. Probably eight. Well, no, maybe more. Maybe ten. That's a big one, though. That's huge. Another shot of that coil with a little bit of a effects type filter on it. Give it kind of a gold appearance. What is this? Got that uh, boneyard coil in the middle there on the outside here. He has a stitched suka, alien suka, over all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff underneath that. I'm not exactly sure what it all is. But it looks very similar to what he did on that helix. Beautifully done, man. Beautiful picture. Couple six wrap aliens. Great consistency in the wrap. Really good turn on your alien, man. It looks great. Good color on it. Stitch Hedgehog. Really great clarity on that photo, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Stitch Razorhawk. 
Oh, that's a that's a razor hawk enigma. Look at this. Oh. All right, so you have a kind of an inception pitchfork. Really good consistency on the fuses. Thing with your fuses on your pitchfork is you want your two fuses. Oh, you can't see me. You want your two fuses parallel with that middle fuse, and that's what he did. Another one here. All kinds of stuff. Open side here, so kind of like a half pitchfork. On the other side of here, he has a what is that? A snake spine. Beautifully done, man. Just so much good stuff on your page. I like this build a lot. Uh, staple stagger fuse clapped in variation. Open open frame. Uh, basically, you skip fuse it, and then throw two open frames on the round wire open frames on the outside and fuse it again. Looks like he. Uh, yeah, skip fused it and then skip fused it again with the final fuse. I really like these builds. I've never vaped one, but I like how they look. Oh, here we go. That is freaking cool. Almost looks like a waterfall or a faucet or something with the cotton being the water. How cool is that? Beautiful shot, man. Very creative. Here we go. Here's that coil before he wicked it. That's a great shot, man. That is a really, really nice shot. I just love that angle. Corrugated, traditional corrugated build. Great photo, good color. Well done. So, uh, staple stagraphy is kind of variation, more like a, a, God, what's that called? A double barrel type build. Beautifully done, so clean. So freaking clean, great wick shot, great color. Beautiful, man. That turn, look at that turn on that Suka. Consistent right down the middle. Whatever lens you're using, man, that's really nice. Little braid action, something a little more versatile. He's got a piece of corrugated in the middle there, framed up with uh, looks like three pieces of ribbon on either side, round wire, and then the braid on the outside. I don't know braids that well, so I can't tell you what braid that is, but very well done. So much good stuff here. It's just beautiful build after beautiful build. Let's take a look at this one here. This is a super macro. The stitched alien with that stitch is big, but it looks big. I don't know what the stitch actually is, but it looks pretty big. Here we go. Sometimes the basics to me are the most beautiful. Fuse clapped in parallel with a piece of round wire. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Take a look at it here. Looks like in the Goon 25. That's a gorgeous build. Great color on it. Beautiful, man. I love that. Felix, that's in the KTX, I believe. 
Yeah. Alien corrugated. This is more like what I remember in the beginning from my dream. That dark picture with this beautiful build's kind of hiding in there. But that's what I remember a lot about his signature, the style that he really brought. Multiple fused helix. All right, so that, so let's take it back up to now we'll move this over here. And... Ooh. Wow. That is mind dream. Congratulations, sir. Absolutely amazing work, dude. You are un freaking believable, dude. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to feature you this week. It's an absolute pleasure, dude. That was beautiful going through your page. Uh, honestly, I'm going to steal one of your pictures for one of my screensavers. So, you know. <laughs> that one picture blew me away. It's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. All right, guys. Thanks so much for everybody for joining. We have a lot going on this week. As I previously mentioned, we have giveaways this week. Wednesday, we're going to have a giveaway for three a uh, set of coils and a bottle of Cat's Whiskers, a set of coils from Mind Dream, and a brand new bottle of the greatest tea liquid on the face of this earth, some Cat's Whiskers. I took my, this is my last bottle, Jane, of the nicotine one. Thank Yeah. It's my last one. So I think you're sending me some. Make sure you send me some more. That will be on Wednesday. So to enter that giveaway, you're going to put a number between 1 and 150 in the comment section of this video. So do that after this or tomorrow, whenever, but have it ready for Wednesday between 1 and 150. Comment section of this video. Tomorrow, we're going to have the Motley Coil Crew. Motley Coil Crew will be me, Nick, Talon, and Johnny. I got to talk to those guys, make sure they're already. Nick is already in, but so it'll at least be me and Nick. <laughs> so we're going to have that tomorrow. Wednesday's the review of the Dark Mesh RDA and the giveaway. Then Friday Vape Hot Tub is PAL702. On Friday, we have a giveaway for three sets of coils from Mr. Mind Dream. To enter that giveaway, to get three sets of coils from this guy, which is unbelievable. You can't buy them. The only way you can get them is through this show. To get that sent to you, all you have to do is go to Mind Dream's page. His link is below. Put a hashtag. Take a picture from his page, from that link. Repost it with the hashtag BlackCatFam at MindDream, Mind underscore Dream, okay? Do that. That will get you entered into the giveaway on Friday for three sets of coils from MindDream. Sorry about the technical difficulties today. It is what it is. I can't do anything about it. I, it does look like, you know, I just switched over to the new system, so maybe that. I'm still dialing that in. I think I like it where it is right now, but... I think I'm having internet problems, and I can go look at that when I go back upstairs. I'll go check my routers and see what they're saying. But I had uh, packet loss, and typically packet loss means it's dropping connection. So that would be more on the router than it would be on YouTube or on my streaming software. Anyway, no makeup today, Joseph. No makeup. I went, yeah, this is, this is how I woke up. I woke up like this. Is that what they saying when you have no makeup on? <sighs> absolutely gorgeous brian thank you so much man all right guys have a fantastic even tonight on the youtubes you have some great shows you have the um faithful with enemies is on and i think i'm not sure if there's anything else there might be something else but i'm not sure there's a lot of shows that were on monday that moved i think there's something else but i'm not able to think of it at the top of my head if you know it put it in the chat so everybody can see and i will see you in the chat of those shows love you guys hope you guys have a fantastic night i will see you soon tomorrow for the motley coil crew have a good night guys